We've got also breaking news. The House just voted to censure New York Democrat Jamal Bowman for pulling a fire alarm while the chamber was in session to consider a vote on government funding back in September. Joining us now is NBC's Ryan Nobles. Ryan, good morning. What does this mean? Well, it essentially serves as a slap on the wrist, Jose. There's no real functional change to Jamal Bowman's status as a member of Congress, but it's certainly not a distinction that any member of Congress is looking to entertain. But this is kind of a new era in Congress where we're seeing censor resolutions like this pop up a lot more frequently than we ever have in the past. Uh, what's interesting about the way that this vote played out is that Democrats attempted to table this measure last night and were unsuccessful in that uh, end. So that meant the full vote came to the House floor. Uh, and uh, Republicans were able to pass the censure resolution 214 to 191, but they also were able to bring three Democrats along with them uh, to vote in, in the affirmative on this. So it does end up being a bipartisan censure resolution for Jamal Bowman. Uh, there were a number of present votes, both Republican and Democrat. So uh, again, you know, Jose, this you know, is not really a functionally uh, serious penalty in terms of how it impacts the way Jamal Bowman conducts himself himself as a member of Congress. Uh, it's more uh, just a way to admonish him for his behavior, uh, which, of course, we should point out that he has already pled guilty to a misdemeanor on and paid a fine as a result of, admitted that he made a mistake in this case and apologized. Uh, Republicans didn't feel like that was enough, which is why they took this step of censoring him. There were some members that thought he should be expelled as a result of that, but there was really no energy behind the idea of actually kicking him out of Congress as a result of this. So they settled here on this censure resolution today.